Holy shit, it's JoJo's deep fried adventure. I swear to god, there's more animation in this intro cutscene here than the entirety of One Punch Man Season 2. This is getting me hyped as fuck. Who animated this madhouse? God damn. Alright, well, I'm now super excited for the I Love You Colonel Sanders dating sim. I've always dreamed of the day where I could finally date an anime Colonel Sanders. About to be wiener licking good out here. I normally make up a name in a game like this, but for something as serious as dating Colonel Sanders, I'm just gonna use my real name so I can get truly immersed in the feel of making out and fucking the asshole of the real Colonel Sanders. What a nice room. K-pop poster, chicken poster. <laughs> Chicken alarm clock that sounds like I'm being gangbanged by a crew of angry chickens. Now we're feeling it. We're fucking cooking now. I wonder if I choose to throw the clock out the window if the game ends. I bet it probably does. I'm not gonna bother though. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. What a shitty name that doesn't inspire confidence in the university. Why not something cool like Jesus Christ's Faith in Spice? Academy for Culinary Arts. Oh baby, here comes my lifelong best friend, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. She looks like a Pokemon trainer. But instead of catching Pokemon, we're catching secret recipes for KFC's dishes. I'll be honest, I was kind of expecting this game to be extremely gnarly, like it's just full penetration hentai shit where I am actually watching cum drip out of Colonel Sanders' mouth like right from the get-go. But this seems like more of a slow burn and a real attempt at a visual novel with like wacky random XD writing so far. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing. I guess if you're a big company, you don't really want, you know, Colonel Sanders, the face of your brand, getting fucked in the mouth on a video game on Steam. Ashley's kind of cool looking. Kind of looks like a fast food vampire. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there. Chicken shin. Chicken shins? Leave Charles' shins alone, they're perfectly normal shins. Why the fuck is she immediately going for my legs? My legs get insulted on the internet all the time. I can't even escape that in a KFC dating simulator? Is no place sacred anymore? Across the quad you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. Stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror, pants so tight, casually working his glutes while he styles his hair. They're rocking glutes. Van Van the Man Man, eh? Ah, uh, I see, it's like a JoJo stand, I get the reference. Yeah, this is kind of what I mean, this is like really random wacky XD stuff. I, I guess I don't know what I was expecting from a KFC dating sim, but it really wasn't this. I thought it was going to be kind of like Food Wars, that anime where it's all about cooking and shit like that. But uh, this, this is fine too, I guess. Van Van the Man Man's got a camel 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 toe. Which one of you pussies brought your four-year-old to school today? This is a culinary college for adults. We're trying to learn how to cook, not fucking babysit. He's got the face of a baby, but the body of a 40-year-old alcoholic abusive father. Who is that poster of that man, that stock image businessman next to the chalkboard on the top left? Is that just like the current CEO of KFC in the real world? Or is that KFC's best customer that they decided to immortalize in the game? Maybe a Kickstarter backer? It's interesting. Scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium in front of the class. Adorable. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's... That's pretty wacky. That's a corgi chef master, professor, teacher, culinary god. This must have been Colonel Sanders' favorite breed of dog, no doubt. Oh, shit. I'm wet. The Colonel Sanders. Do you think maybe the real Colonel Sanders, when he was on his deathbed, was like, please, at some point... My last wish is to make me fuckable in a video game, and thus this was born. A passion project m many decades in the making. It's him, it's the Colonel, yeah, fuck yeah. If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts, sprinkles, sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. It doesn't look like he interrupts him. Please, call me Colonel. That's a nice name. Colonel Sanders. That's a beautiful name. Now excuse me, Colonel Sanders, for I have sinned. I must admit, I haven't had KFC in many years, but I remember the last time I had it, I damn near OD'd on Greece. I know this is neither the time nor the place for this discussion, but I just thought it was worth making you aware right away. 
Man, a lot of crazy shit's going on here. I've got a sweating problem because Colonel Sanders is coming. Professor Dog's gone on a fucking power trip spanking students in the culinary works here. This is wild. Making a fucking ass soup out here. Who the fuck is this? A state alchemist? Who is this weirdo? This looks like a ghost that Luigi would be sucking up from the haunted mansion in the vacuum. Appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. What's up, Clank? Man, nowhere is safe anymore from the machine takeover. Stealing our culinary jobs now? Well, this isn't even a job. Stealing our culinary learning from school now? I mean, a microwave's already the head chef at the Olive Garden, and now this? This is just going too far. Come on, Clank. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me if you're interested. Oh, well, yeah, I'm obviously interested. Sorry, medium. I'm going right for Colonel Sanders. I'm coming for the cock. And I don't mean his deep-fried chicken tendies. No, Sanders-sama. No, you didn't. You brought a bucket of chicken to lunch for the whole class to enjoy. Ah, the aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe in the soothing comfort of grease. Ooh, with a little bit of meat sprinkled in there that's really soggy from the grease. Yes, Colonel Sanders, you about done yourself. Just one bite of the chicken laced with PCP and I'm already floating through dimensions. Let's savor the moment and learn more about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. I must know the secret Krabby Patty formula. Oh, that is a fucking cool sup there. Looking like Moses out here. Parting a sea of grease to get to the chicken bucket on the other side. A lake of pure fatty oil. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use redacted. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. This isn't like a CIA top secret document. Just fucking tell me whatever one of the 11 spices is. Redacted, wow. Never would have guessed that. In fact, I'm not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. I'm gonna take a guess at what this is. Is this first secret spice ingredient sewage? You use it instead of oil? So it's extra greasy, perhaps? Oh, they're just giving me Colonel Sanders' heart on a silver platter. Obviously the grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. That's a Colonel Sanders' favorite. That's rookie shit. Anybody knows that. Oh, your fucking ass is mine. Literally, about the rim job you hear with this mashed potatoes and gravy I'm about to prepare. Ashley's really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Well, I love the soundtrack right now. It's like through the fire and the flames for the culinary arts. Christ, if I don't choose now, it sounds like a bomb's about to go off. Turn to Colonel Sanders, hunk of hunks in your time of need. I'm definitely turning to Colonel Sanders, but right now I want to kind of let this song play out. It sounds like I'm on the final boss fight of a Final Fantasy game, but with chicken. Uh, it's delectable! The perfect blend of spices, gravy, and starch. Oh, an umami explosion in your mouth. Oh, a flawless combination, amalgamation, creation. Uh, the perfect marrying of molecules. Oh, Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab a hold of it, and he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you are holding the same spork. And for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in the crazy world stops. Yes. But the pressure in my pants has only just begun. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. If you love something, set it free. I flop my 6.5-inch penis over the rim of my basketball shorts. Oh, sweet God, no. Mashed potatoes with gravy, pathetic. In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty, braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce, placed on a battle axe forged by my, my supreme chef ancestors. And a unique spin on a classic Viking dish, Van Van. But it doesn't beat love. It never will. Oh, wow. Well, that's about the perfect enemy to really capture the XD random humor, like all-encompassing of it. A spork meatball monster. That, that'll do it. The spork monster is about to get banished to the shadow realm this time. Oh, the pot pie power pinch, it's huge! Said to have slain even God himself at one point, until God was revived by Colonel Sanders' chicken. It's like Yugi says, just believe in the heart of the chicken. Uh, uh I guess spare him? I think that's what Colonel Sanders would want to do. Use him for a dish. No food goes to waste at KFC. Might as well. Yeah, just spare him. I guess we can put him on the menu as like a limited time item like the McRib. Throw out the, the, mix, the McSpork monster. I cannot contain my boner. It's like a secret. I have to share it with someone. And it might as well be Colonel Sanders. Oh, so majestic. My knight in shining oil. 
Oh, baby, yes. Let us ride away together. Oh, shit. Is that, is that like a game over? I feel like getting kicked in the face by a horse would be pretty much the end of that. And skip this shit, I don't care about the ghost. Yeah, let's lean in for a kiss, we're already here. This could be super romantic. Hey, I just got kicked in the face by your horse, you feel me? Bang, give me those lips, I'm gonna plant a wet one on them. Yeah, I'm definitely sure, let's get in there. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. I blew it, yeah, I fucking blew it. Yeah, you know I'm trying this shit again, I can't let this love go alone. I would have expected the secret laboratory of Colonel Sanders to be a little cooler. This is kind of nice, though. Norm Macdonald wore this in one of the KFC commercials a while back. <gasps> oh, God. Sanders Senpai has seen me stealing from him. Uh... Oh, shit. This is hard. Uh, I think Colonel Sanders probably values the truth more than anything else. So instead of going for, like, the I'm cold, warm me up with your butthole approach, which is a little aggressive, I'll just go with the truth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes! Now we're feeling it! Oh. Let us fuck atop a bed of mashed potatoes and gravy. With a biscuit. Fried with love. Not slow. Don't tell me to take it slow. No! Good lord, no! Why must the food be fast, but the love be slow? KFC, the ultimate fast food chain, but a lackluster love chain. I didn't have a date to prom, Colonel Sanders. Yes, I'm alone. Oh, and it's so cold out here. Well, I'm looking for at least 6.5, ultimate gamer, 2.0 KD in the new Modern Warfare, very least. Do you fit any of those, Sanders? Or am I going to have to make an exception? I guess I'll have to make an exception. Spicy musk, tidy goatee, and a degree? Mm, that's okay. Well, I would love to, Colonel Sanders. Let me put my hand on your hip and we dip, you dip, nip slip. I had it- wait, what? Wait, so this whole time he's had the franchise running? I thought this was supposed to be like his origin story. His X-Men origins, his genesis. This is the first time in the entire game it's mentioned his franchises, only that he has dreams of franchises. I would love to run these restaurants, though. Yeah, absolutely. But I think I'm getting friend-zoned in that department. Yeah. So we're in love, but he doesn't respect me. That's that's a pretty toxic relationship. Uh, shit. This isn't going the way I envisioned. At all. Yeah, oh, fuck. I got the bad ending. Oh boy, he's just embarrassing me in front of the entire university. Holy shit. Well, that's not how my wet dreams played out. Hey, KFC Presents, my favorite video game developer. I bet the true ending had us ending in like this really intimate 69. But I'm not gonna go back and try and get the true ending. This was like two hours worth of visual novel, far more than I expected.